Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. I am Brian. Thanks for tuning in for a new video. Uh, a couple of thank yous I need to get out of the way first and foremost. I want to say thank you to Dominic Cheryl for inviting me to do be a part of the World AIDS Day Pour. It was a lot of fun. We had so many great artists, so I just loved participating in that. And we all created some wonderful pieces of art. Um, I also need to say thank you to Mina Villegas. Friday night at her premiere, I was not able to attend because I was out at dinner, but she told me to watch, made sure I watched the, her uh, video. So I obviously went back and watched it as soon as I got home. She mentioned my channel and she asked everyone to go and check out my channel and if you liked it, to subscribe to it. So that was so nice of her. I really, really appreciate that. Also, at the Fluid Art Experience, I won this beauty. This is from Mina Villegas. It's a comb wrecked ring pour. I won at the raffle on Friday night at the dinner banquet. So happy to get that back in my possession. My friend Kelly brought it back because she drove and I had to fly. So there was no way I could bring everything back on the airplane. So she brought that back for me. So thank you so much, Kelly. So tonight I'm gonna to be doing a paint grenade. Um, I use these colors at the Fluid Art Experience at the Massey Boys uh, class. I uh, was not able to bring that painting home because it wasn't dry in time. So I decided I wanna go on a bigger canvas and use the same color. So I'll get you down on that canvas. We'll talk about the canvas size and the colors. I'll be right back. So what we're using today is a 20 by 24 gallery wrap canvas by Artist Loft. I have it taped and push binned on the back. I also painted my sides because I'm using mixed pour, which I absolutely love, but it does give your paints a little bit of transparency on the edges. So I like to paint my edges. That way it's already got a coat of paint on it. Today's colors I am using. Again, these are the same colors that I used in the Massive Boys uh, class. I'm using Amsterdam's Turquoise Blue. I'm using Amsterdam's Primary Magenta. I'm using Amsterdam's Pearl White. And I also mis mix that with a little bit of the DecoArt Satin Enamels White just to give it a little bit of opacity to it. I'm also using Amsterdam's Greenish Blue, one of my favorite, favorite colors. And then, of course, what are we using? DecoArt's 24 Metallic Gold. Mix Pour. You can order that from Krista Rasmussen at Krista8974 at gmail.com. What I did is I've got 16 ounce cups here. I put 12 ounces of mix in a cup to two ounces of the paint. Krista normally recommends seven one. Um, I like to back it down just a little bit. I like to make sure I've got a good coverage. Um, I might not need to do it that way, but that's just the way I do it. Um, what I'm going to be using for my cup to fill is a Panera bread <laughs> uh, soup cup. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a push pin right here in the side. Get it in there. There we go. And that's going to be my cup. I'm going to fill that up. I'm going to set this over to the side here. And we will start layering. I think what I'm gonna do, so you gotta remember the first color in is gonna be the last color out. I think I'm gonna drizzle a little white in here. All right, we're gonna start with greenish blue. This cup is a little more than 16 or we're gonna, I'm sorry, I forgot to tell you, for a 20 by 24 canvas, we need about 17 ounces of paint. You take the 20 times 24, divide that by 28, and then you get your total of about 17.1, I think it is. And then I like to round up to 18. This here is about 20 ounces, so we're not gonna need to fill it up all the way. But you know how I do, I always fill up all the way. We'll see. 
and I believe I am going to wreck this as well. I'm going to lip it. Pour a little gold here in the center. do when I pull the pin I'm gonna let I'm gonna release the paint and then I'm gonna lip the paint all right let's pull the pin paints oozing out of the cup do is I am going to use what's left in my cup so I don't waste it here. cells that are coming up through this are really gorgeous. All right, let's start tilting this out. I was just somebody Longing for someone To hold me It could be anybody But you chose me somehow Now
Guys, here's the wet result. I'll bring you in here starting at the top left. this so much i cannot wait for this to dry i will show you the dried result i'll be right back all right everyone here is the dried result it's still a little bit wet in the middle but it came out just fantastic it's going to look even better when i get a nice clear coat on this um i'll bring you in here for a close-up of red that show up over there on the right hand side and the little red cells it just it really came out wonderful um, so I'll get some clear on this I think I'm gonna put gloss varnish on it I'm not gonna put resin on it so alright guys as always my pieces are available for purchase if you want to purchase this piece email me directly at Brian's Upper Valley Artistry at gmail.com don't forget to like comment subscribe hit the notification bell that'll let you know when I do post new video content all right, everyone, we'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye-bye.